just like last time TOC Takamura R2 Santoku Spidey Chef and just for laugh I also throw small sevenza. I know large sevenza would perform better, but let's see what this can do. Garlic. Just soak them in water like 5-10 minutes, then you can easily peel off the skin. Let's try slicing garlic. Of course, this one works. TOC. Yep, with TOC using this portion is easier. And these guys are not really made for this kind of work. Yeah, it just slides out. You have to do it real slow. It's doable, but Throw. The problem with these guys, that's not about edge sharpness, it's just the geometry. You know, it's just the braid moves this way. This one does the same thing, but the height of the blade and the weight of the blade helps. And actually, this is pretty thin behind the edge now, because I sharpened it. The carrot. Small Sevenza. Hmm. No. To do this rocking motion, you need longer braid, at least twice as long. It really doesn't work. Can you see? You have to raise braid like this much. Cutting something like this is impossible. So I just give up. Yeah, you can't see, but I can't move the camera in this way or this way. Um. How about TLC?
Now this is where this knife really shines. The serration works excellent. And Takamura R2, Santoku works also great. Alright, so for meat cutting, all of them, even small sedenza works really great. But this one cuts most aggressively. So, because maybe I shouldn't say this, maybe YouTube doesn't like it, but essentially fighting knife and the knife for meat, they have many things in common. Human beings' body is essentially bone structures wearing meat and the skin. So there is no big difference. So all YouTube knife channels they should test on the meat rather than copy paper, I think. This test is more fun, more practical, don't you think? Yep, this is way better than newspaper copy paper cutting test. Cut some onions, carrot, and pork for the knife test. This is a really good stuff. Sorry about the compressor noise. The refrigerator's compressor just kicked in. Well, since this is not a cooking channel. After this, I will turn off the camera and I will turn on again after I finish cooking and we'll be back after I finish cooking. 